So recently our family came back from a two week trip in Italy and we absolutely loved it. But we did something different on this trip. We actually decided to backpack and I didn't say we went hiking. I said we backpacked like we used backpacks for our luggage and we really feel like it has completely changed the way that we will pack and travel. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why we think that and why backpacking might be right for you. So on that trip to Italy, we packed in bags like this right here. This is mine, my wife had a different model, but mine is the Osprey. Both of our bags were about 45 or 46 liter bags. And as you can tell, it's just a carry-on size bag. It is a backpack, although the straps are stowed right now, they're, they're inside here, which is another nice feature. And in another video, I'll probably go through what the differences were in these packs, but I just wanted to show you what I'm talking about when I say we backpacked. These bags worked out perfectly for us because we could take them on the airplanes. And we wanted to be able to carry them around if we needed to move locations and stuff. Since we were gonna be in the country for two weeks, we knew that we were gonna be moving around a lot and we didn't wanna to have to drag luggage. To give you a little background about us, we are the type that if the airline says we can take a 50 pound bag, we show up with 49 pound bags every single trip. Even if we're just going on a road trip for a couple of days, we packed the whole trunk full of bags. Like we just always took way too much luggage. Honestly, that's, that's how it was. We packed everything we needed and everything that we didn't need, we took it all with us on our trips. But when it came time for this trip, we were remembering back to a few years ago when we went to Paris. Halfway through that trip, there was an issue with our Airbnb. I won't give you the whole backstory there, but we ended up having to move to a hotel partway through the trip. We packed up our luggage and we started to make the move. We were just gonna walk because it was only you know five or six blocks away from the Airbnb to where the hotel was gonna be. So we grabbed our bags, we loaded everything up and we started our walk. It was three adults, two kids. All three adults had large rolling luggage and the kids had small rolling luggage, like a carry-on type roller bag. Even with the wheels and the roller style of luggage that we were taking, once you got outside and you were on the cobblestone and the bricks and all that stuff trying to drag it through the city of Paris, it was a nightmare. I mean, it was absolutely horrible and we'll never forget that time from that trip. It didn't ruin the trip, but it definitely made it much harder. And so as we were preparing for this trip, this two week trip, which we were gonna start in Venice, then go through Tuscany, and then down to the Amalfi Coast, and then back up to Rome, we knew that we were gonna be moving around a lot and we needed to be mobile. And also in Venice, obviously there's a lot of canals, so they have the bridges over the canals and those are not sloped bridges like you might think, like a walking bridge, they are stepped. So they step up and then they step down. And with pulling your luggage, especially heavy luggage, but having to pull it over each one of those steps over and over and over each canal that you come across, that's gonna be a lot of work. So we started talking about it before the trip and we said maybe there's an easier way. Maybe we can do backpacks, we can try it out. And we had never done that before, we had never packed that light. And so it took a little bit of thinking, a little, <laughs> a little bit of extra planning I would say. We actually ended up ordering several backpacks to try out, you know, to see which ones we liked, what features we liked, which ones we didn't. But I'll have to do another video at another time and kind of review the ones that we chose and why we chose them and the pros and cons of both. But that'll have to be another video. It took some figuring out, but we were able to make it work. And what we ended up doing was we decided that for the whole trip, we were gonna stay in Airbnbs that would have washers and dryers so that we could wash and dry our clothes because we wanted to be able to have fresh clothes the whole time obviously, because we were going for two weeks. You can't pack two weeks worth of clothes to have a different outfit every day. But to be honest, that was one of the limiting beliefs, I guess, that we had about packing light, is that we needed a, a different outfit every day. And you don't, you simply don't. At home, you don't have 14 pairs of pants and 14 shirts that you wear for the next two weeks. You don't do that. You reuse your pants, you reuse your shirts, you swap them in and out and things like that. So we knew that if we packed enough for even one week, we were good to go. If we had a different outfit for seven days, we were good to go. And honestly, I think we ended up packing a little bit more than a different outfit for each of those days. But we just figured out what we needed to pack and what would be lightweight. It was gonna be a summertime trip, so that took some of the stress off of it there. We didn't need to pack boots. We didn't need to pack heavy coats and parkas and stuff like that. It was gonna be a summer trip, so we knew it would be shorts, a few pairs of pants um, for my wife, dresses, things like that stuff that would be lightweight. We got so many comments, especially my wife, if y'all follow her on Instagram or YouTube, you know, 
She's the type that she is not leaving the house without her hair and makeup done. She's gonna look right every day, outfit on point. And she was getting messages from people saying, how do y'all look so fabulous on this trip when you're just backpacking? And that's their words, not mine. But people were saying, how do you look this fabulous? Like, I know that y'all just packed in backpacks. How on earth did you get all of this stuff and y'all always look great every day? It's just because we put a little bit of thought into it to figure it out. And so I guess the purpose of this video is to say, you can do that too. You don't need to watch a video where someone says, here's what I packed and here's the five pairs of socks that I brought and here's the t-shirts because their trip is not your trip and their clothes are not your clothes. That doesn't matter. The purpose of this is to tell you that it can be done. You can do it. All you need is a few outfits that are interchangeable tops and bottoms or whatever, or some lightweight outfits. Like, like I said, for my wife, she had some very lightweight dresses that were easy to pack. They didn't take up any space. And we were able to do that. My wife and I both used the big packs and then we had smaller bags. Uh, that I think they were maybe 12 liter bags and those were for the kids. And these bags all fit perfectly on the airplanes as carry-ons. We didn't have to worry about getting to our destination and wondering, did our bag make it onto this plane? Or if we have a delayed flight, did our bag get moved to the other plane and things like that? We would have our luggage with us the whole time and you can go, you can roll with the punches for whatever's gonna happen during the trip. We knew that for this trip, we were gonna be traveling by train a lot um, throughout the country. That was gonna be our, our main uh, means of transportation and on trains in Italy there's not a whole lot of luggage space there is very little luggage space as a matter of fact and it's shared with everyone else on the train so they do have some overhead shelves and so we knew with our backpacks we could just pop them up on the shelf and we'd be good to go that way so that's what we ended up doing it worked out very well it was so good it was so easy to be able to fit all the luggage in the car go to the airport fit all the luggage in the overhead compartment, get out there, get into a taxi where you can fit all of your family's luggage in the trunk. And then you can get on the train where you can fit all of your luggage on the train. And if we need to walk like we did in Venice, obviously a taxi can't just take you right to your door. So if you need to walk, you throw the backpack on and you walk and it was comfortable. When you think about it, some people say, well, I don't want to carry a backpack because that's a lot of carrying a backpack. But if you really think about it, how much time are you spending carrying it hiking with your backpack? You know, if you get there and you get a taxi that takes you close to your destination, you know, and, and especially a place like Italy, most of the time those streets are closed to cars, like in the city centers where the historic stuff is at, the places where you want to stay if you're on, a, if you're on an adventure type trip. Um, most of those city centers are closed to vehicle traffic, so you can't just take a car ride right into the middle of downtown Siena or something like that. It's not that simple. Buses aren't just gonna take you right in there. A lot of times buses can't fit in there. So you're gonna have to walk. But honestly, how long are you walking? It, probably not more than 10 minutes or so. I mean, especially if you consider, like on this trip, we were gonna be staying in the Airbnb. So I said, okay, let me pick spots where the Airbnb is convenient to the locations we wanna see in that area, but it's also convenient to the train station, maybe somewhere in the middle or close to both. That way, at most, you know, we've only got maybe 10 minutes of a walk. I mean, that's that's not bad. You can throw it on. And I know for some people, there's, you know, back problems and joint problems and stuff like that that may prevent you from doing that. And if that's the case, then this isn't for you. But for people that can, traveling with a backpack is a great way to go. And we have, we thoroughly enjoyed it for that whole trip. Looking at upcoming trips, we're honestly looking forward to going on these trips. We know we're going to get to pack in our backpack again. And that was like part of the experience for us was to be able to say, hey, how, how can we fit this in here? And how can we take this? Or are we gonna have enough room for this and have to do things like that? It was honestly a little bit more fun because it makes you have to think about the actual journey of the trip itself. You know, so many times we think about an upcoming vacation to a destination like Italy or, or wherever you're going, and you think about how much adventure you're gonna have there at the place. But when you're traveling with a backpack, it made it a little bit more about the journey itself. And so we got to enjoy not only packing, we got to enjoy actually like, hey, we're gonna have to put on our backpacks and walk over here. And it was fun. It was it was exciting to have to go through the motions of the actual trip. That might not be something that excites everyone, but for us it is. I actually enjoy, I'm a travel planner. I enjoy planning travel. I enjoy thinking about travel. And so when we're on these trips, I actually really enjoy having to figure out 
the small details of the trip, like, okay, I don't speak the language, so how am I going to communicate this? Or I don't know how to get here, so how am I going to get our transportation to this location? Things like that I really like to think about. And so it makes it kind of fun to add in the element of carrying all your luggage on your back. This subject of packing and backpacks has gotten like so many questions on our comments, it's gotten so many DMs sent to us, things like that, that I know I'm going to have to do some more videos about this because the subject goes really deep. I mean, when you think about the types of backpacks that are out there, the ways that you can pack, the things that you should be taking, things you should not be taking, it's a lot of information. And so I know that I'm going to have to do more videos about this, but I just wanted to put this one out because a lot of people did ask, you know, how did we like it? How was it? And I want to say that we loved it and we will pack like this even if we're just getting in the car to drive down to Disney World for a few days. We are packing in our backpacks because we thoroughly enjoyed using backpacks for this journey. And I would highly encourage you, check it out. Look at, even if you think there's no way I can put all my stuff in there, really think about each thing you pack and question yourself on what are the chances I will actually use this. It's great to have an umbrella on a trip, but then you think about it and you're like, Okay, but what are the chances that it's going to rain in the summer in Italy? It's pretty slim. And there's not a really good chance that you're going to see rain. And if you see rain, you pick up a $5 umbrella and you do that rather than carrying that thing around on your back for two weeks. You know, questions like that can really help you get to the point where you realize maybe all my stuff can fit in a backpack. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe because I will have more videos about backpacking and how we did it and kind of the more more about the details and things of that type of travel. I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration there to maybe consider it at least for your next trip. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video.